What's up guys, Evil D here, and today we're gonna do another Let's Describe It. I'll get to the duck session later, I promise, Sarah. See, I know I've been promising that one. But today we're going to be naming all the parts of my cat. Now, this is gonna be quite difficult because my cat does not like to be held like this. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at our cat if you actually look at the freaking camera. Hey, Kato, 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 look. Okay, so we've got his face here, his face just here. So we've got Visajo, Visajo, come on, Kato, don't make this difficult. So he's got his visage or just there, so his lovely face. Next you've got his nasal just here, his mouth is busho. Look up, Kato, look up, look up, look up, look up. Um, you can see he's got his little iris there and pupil. Iris is iriso and pupil is um, pupillo. Here you can see he's got whiskers. Now the word for whiskers in Esperanto is lipardui. That also is the word for mustache, okay? Um, so mustache and whiskers just translates as lipardui. Um, obviously, it's so hard to see because he's fighting me right now. Next thing, you'll notice that like a lot of cats, not mine in particular, but they have like these like patches around their eyes. The word you would use for that is makulo, okay? Which kind of means like a patch, a spill, something like that. So makulo, or a spot I should say. Um, now the next big thing on the cat is you're going to notice is he's got his lovely little ears here. So the word for a singular ear in Esperanto is orello. Okay, that can mean both the internal organ and also the external part of the ear, orello. However, there's actually a technical word for just the external part of the ear here, and that is auriclo, auriclo. Now, another thing is you'll notice that they're covering this lovely fur. This is why my missus loves cats so much. So the word for fur on a cat, okay, is harado. Now, there's three different words you can use here, and I'm going to tell you what each one means. So the first one is hararo, which just means a grouping of hair. That's what you'd use in nearly every case. Now, you've probably gone to a dictionary sometime and you've looked up fur. Don't do that, because the word that will come out is felo. And felo actually means like fur removed from like an animal, cut out and, you know, like put on the ground. You know, like one of those bear things that are bear... Um, Ah, oh, I forget the word for it in English. But anyway, you know the mat type of thing made out of an animal's fur? That is fellow, okay? So it's fur removed from an animal, not really like, uh, you know, prepared or anything, just cut off. The other word is pelto, and pelto is that, so fur removed from an animal, but then made into something like nice and fancy or something like, you know how the women used to wear the scarves made out of fur before everyone started egging them? Yeah, so that's um, the three different words. So if you're just talking about a fur on a living animal, just use harado. And my cat is playing dead at the moment. He really does not want to get along with me. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of this cat. This is going to be fun. Oh, I've got to turn him without him fighting me. So he's got his little tail here. His tail, oh, he doesn't like that. The word for tail is vosto, okay, vosto. Now, we're gonna come down here, he's got his legs. His word for leg is crudo, okay. Um, now, you'll notice in Esperanto, if you go look up the word for leg, you actually sometimes find a second word, and the second word is gumbo. Gumbo is not a word that's very often used in Esperanto, it's not official. Um, however, if you do see it, gumbo just means the upper part of the leg rather than the entire leg, okay? Um, but just try to avoid it, but just so you know. So yeah, crudo is a leg. Now the next thing you'll notice here is, oh, if he doesn't fight me, he's, he's got a belly just here. Ah, God damn it, he doesn't like that. Um, the word for belly is ventro, okay, ventro. Uh, you can't really see it just here, I'm gonna try and hold him. He's got his shoulders, shultroi, just here, okay? Give him a nice little pat, calm him down, calm him down, calm down, baby, it's okay. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> okay, so on his oh, on his paws, ah, cut off. Okay, as you can see, on his paws, um, they've got a, all cats have got claws. Okay, so the word for a nail, because you know, like the nail that I've got in my hand, is ungo, but the word for claw is ungego, so like a big nail. But that's the traditional word for claw. Okay. Um, the next thing you'll want to say is, with a cat, you always pat them. Okay, to try and keep them happy. Doesn't work with my cat too much. But the word for pat um, is frappetti. That's to um, uh, just to pat, okay? Now, one thing cats absolutely hate is when you start patting them in reverse. They don't like that, okay? Um, and that, <laughs> I'm just going to show you his face right here. When you pat a cat's hair in reverse, the way to say that in Esperanto is you'd say cuspi la hardoin de la cato, which means to pat the hairs against the grain of the cat, okay? Um, just thought you might want to know that because that's actually quite a little handy word because I remember the other day I was, I'm not the other day, a while back I was with a little girl and I was teaching her Esperanto words just for fun and she's like, how do I say pat hairs in reverse? And I was like, oh, actually that's a good point. Do I just use a normal English construction? Oh my God, there's hair everywhere in the 
freaking air right now. So the word for just that a singular hair is hardo. Just so you know. Oh, he's using his hair attack on me. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to put him down right now because he's going crazy. Um, oh, we haven't actually said I. The word for I is okulo, okay? Just, I taught you other things. Obviously, you've got um, the teeth in the mouth, which is dentally. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. You've got tongue, which is lango. Um, Doroso, which is the back just here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to put him down now because I'm choking on hair that's flying through the air. And that's it, guys. So if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. And if you're not there, I will find you and I will describe you in intimate detail. <laughs> and as always, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, who are Andrew Tripp, Alexander Tolfess, and Bon Cotter, Comensanto, JZ Knuckles, Lutista, Margarita Kilpack, Robert Nielsen, Robert Port, Sarah SC, Shane Powell, Tommy Lindsley, and James Harlan. And if you want to donate to my channel so that it can actually grow, you can through the Patreon link below in the description. Okay, this is gonna be difficult right now because my cat really doesn't like what I'm doing. So first up, let's have a look at their head. Kato, stop playing dead mode. Stop playing dead mode, come on. Come on, come on, you fucker. <laughs> For fuck's sake, roll over. <laughs> roll over, you annoying bloody cat. Oh my god. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is so difficult with one hand. He's just playing completely dead mode. <laughs> I give up.